Lesson 3.2, Complex Numbers. How do you define and use the imaginary unit I? Now let's look at the products of pure imaginary numbers. Problem number 15, 4I times 7I. You do the numbers times the numbers and the I's times the I's. So 4 times 7 is 28. I times I is an I squared. Now you need to simplify what did we say I squared was? We said I squared was a negative 1. So this is 28 being multiplied to a negative 1. 28 times a negative 1 is a negative 28. Problem number 17. We have the quantity of 2i, all raised to the third power, times 5i. So the quantity of 2i, all raised to the third power, meant you had a 2i three times. And then we have a 5i. Just like our previous problem, 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, and then I, 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 I. 2 times 2 is 4. This 2 times 5 is 10. 4 times 10 is 40. If the I is written 4 times, that means we have I to the 4th. I have 40 being multiplied by, what is I to the 4th? We said I to the 4th was 1. So 40 times 1 is 40. Problem number 19. We have the square root of negative 18 multiplied to the square root of negative 10. You cannot take the square root of negatives. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to separate the negative 1 from the 18 and the negative 1 from the 10. Negative 1 is i. Let's prime factorize 18. 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. The square root of negative 1 is i. Square root of 10 is 2 times 5. We have i times i, which gave me an i squared. Inside the square roots, we have a 2 times a 2 times a 3, 3, 5. What is i squared? i squared is a negative 1 multiplied by, looking at our square root, if they pair, they escape. So we get a pair of 2's to escape, a pair of 3's escape, but the 5 has to stay in. So we have negative 1 times 2 times 3, which is a negative 6 times the square root of 5. There are three problems left on the page. Please do these for independent practice.